Mustang News reached out to Emory Infectious Disease researcher Dr. Jesse O'Shea to get a first-hand take on COVID-19. We wanted to find out specifically how teens are impacted and what is their role in preventing the spread of the disease. It was an interesting chat. Throughout the interview, he stressed the importance of social distancing, helping to prevent the spread and the role of teens. Dr. O'Shea says that no matter the age, everyone has a role in this pandemic. It may affect the older population more, but the teens and younger kids can spread the disease without even knowing. Let's listen to what he has to say. No matter your age, whether you're 5, 15, or 50 years old, everyone has a role. You, me, anyone can have mild symptoms or not severe symptoms, and they could be spreading the disease that way and not even know it. 80% of people go on to develop a symptom or two. Maybe 20% of people have very minimal or no symptoms that are, to that are truly asymptomatic. But while help is on the way via vaccine development and other research, he warns to still practice social distancing and be on alert. Teens and young adults especially should stay alert and careful as opening up does not mean the virus is gone. They could get infected and infect others and continue the spread. We as young people are social beings. We want to go have fun. We want to go interact with our friends. We want to go, you know, play sports. We want to do all of that. Um, and I, we all understand it's hard, but, you know, as I open this up with, we all have a role here and we just need to be careful. He adds that once things start to open up, things could go back to normal, but there is a chance that it could return like a seasonal flu. And once the pandemic is over, he says that the younger population should stay on alert and be careful when near friends and other people. The average number of people that COVID-19 infects from one person is two to three other people. I sincerely thank Dr. O'Shea for the chance to interview him and gain some more insights on the virus, specifically focused towards the younger population to inform the broader FSA community. For Mustang News, I am Rohan Mova.